In software development, tasks are a pretty important part of your job, and MuleSoft offers a pretty powerful tool to do them. I'm talking about time unit tasks, and inside of your application built with AnyPoint Studio, you are able to create a unit task driven by a unit module. In some cases, you might need to parameterize your task, especially with VM arguments or with configuration files, such as like YAML that you use for any given environment or unit task that you're willing to create. Before we begin, let me introduce myself. My name is Lorenzo Neri and I'm working as integration engineer for cap for lab So let's get started with the first point of this explanation. So actually I actually have a MuleSoft project to open in my AnyPoint Studio. I created a simple flow, and the first step that has to be done is to create a MUnit test. MUnit tests are related to the flows, so that as soon as I am over the flow, I right click over here, go under the last option, which is MUnit, create a blank test for this flow. Given the times required by AnyPen Studio, I will have a new file named as it is the file where the flow is created. What happens here is that per each flows, per each task, a flow is created in turn, like the right one you're currently looking at. What could I do to parameterize this task? I have two options and we will see the first one, which is the simplest. As you could see, test files, like XML files that creates and compose a MuleSoft application, offer the message flow, global elements and configuration XML views. So, if I click over the global elements tabs, I see an already created element that is a unit configuration. For each task, we have one of these global elements created as soon as I create the test itself. So, what should I do in order to parameterize the test itself is to click over the element. And I could see a list which is named parameterization. Parameterization could be used like the environments. For instance, your application runs over development, Q&A, pre-production and production environments. So it's pretty useful to split and separate all of the parameters used per each environment. In my case, I'll keep it simple and I create a parameterization name it for instance development. Click over OK. And as soon as I click over here, a second table will be available. A second icon set appears, and this icon set is used to create parameters as they are. I'll do a step back into showing you what I created so far for this simple flow composed of an HTTP listener and a logger. I have a related global configuration for the HTTP listener config. As you could see here, I did not put as hard-coded values for the host and the port, rather I created arguments. In this case, I have the listener host and the listener port. What could I do is of course using a configuration file, a YAML file in this case, with the values. What could I do is as follows for our test. I go back into the global element view, go to parameterization, this is a little bug offered by the current situation. I have to recreate one spec again. Click over the parameterization I created once again. Create the parameter and name and value have to be the same exact that are into the configuration of your application. This is because application and test are two separate application with their own runtime variables and VM arguments in turn. So what could I do is create the first one, which is http.listener.host and the value was 0, 0, 0. I do the same for the port, which was http.listener.port and related value was 80, 81. As soon as I'm done, I could see the list of parameter related to the parameterization I'm creating here. As soon as you're done, what you have to do is clicking over OK and parameter are created. 
before we keep going with the second way to parameterize our test in MUnit, do not forget to subscribe to our channel. My coworkers and I are creating several contents in order to understand better the MuleSoft world and all of the related tools like MUnit, AnyPen Studio, CloudUp, and the other part. So actually we saw how to create a test, how to parameterize it by the global elements view. Now we'll see the second way to parameterize our test. And it's pretty, pretty easy. As we were saying at the beginning of this video, Test, like the other XML files, has three different views offered by AnyPoint Studio. The first one is of course the message flow, like we do when we created our applications. The other is the global elements, and we have already seen that. Then we have the configuration XML. Now, it's not as different as it is for XML files composing MuleSoft applications, because it's composed of XML tags, like the Mule one, but in particular, we will see what happens when we create a configuration in order to have a proper test. As you could see here in MUnit config, this is the XML tag in charge of creating the flow related to the test. But if we go further into details, we see that we have an MUnit column parameterizations. Here, we'll have in turn a parameterization tag per each parameterization created. As you can see here, we have the name, which is development. Then in turn, we have the parameters. This is the pretty easy peasy part because for each parameter, we have one tag. As you could see, MUnit colon parameter is the name of the tag. Then we have the property name, which is the name of the argument and the related value. So what should I do to create a one MUnit parameter is to create an MUnit colon parameter property name, remember the camel case, value. It could be everything. So here we have the name parameter, for instance, keep it simple. The related value, which could be any value, whatever you want. Once I'm done with property name and related value, I will close the tag. And as you could see, any point studio will close the tag. In this case, it's not needed because this XML tag is self-closing. So I remove the not needed part and I add a slash in order to self-close the tag itself. So these are the two ways to create parameters. And if you found this video helpful, do not forget to share and let me know what do you think about it into the comment section.